you're doing absolutely fantabulous on this Saturday morning slash Saturday afternoon. Oh my gosh. Well, I got to tell you guys, we have a heckin' amazing, and I stress amazing lineup this weekend. I am so excited to introduce you guys to everybody that's here. I know some of you are here because you got some real favorites on this episode, and I am so happy to have everybody here as well. So if you are new here, welcome in. My name is Pumpkin Potion, and I'm a full-time VTuber here on Twitch TV. I'm a heckin' adorable dame from 1931, a cartoon myself. Thank you very much. And I am the host of the weekend show, Tuned In Comedy Show, where we take four guests and we give them the improv opportunity of their heckin' lives. So let's take a moment to go meet those guests, shall we? All right, guys. Everybody say hello! Oh my god, hi! Hi! hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hello, hello! I am so happy to have you guys here. Thank you for being on the show this week! I'm super excited! Thank you for Thanks having for us! for having us, yeah. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! So, um... So, for those in the audience that are unfamiliar with you guys, we're gonna go around the table a little bit, and we're gonna introduce all of you individually. Uh, to the audience. How's that sound? Sound good? Yeah, sounds so good. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're going to start up here in the corner. Uh, we're going to start with, with Honey. Oh. And uh, so the production team tells me that you are the current world record holder for the most alien encounters experienced while in the bathroom. Do you yeah. recall any favorite visits? Um, so I uh, have a, a... So in my bathroom... Um, it's my favorite place to get water. I, I, I know that Pasta can relate to that. She also likes toilet water. And um, in my journeys there, I've made a lot of friends. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite one is Glorb Gorf. And um, he has granted me um, a LaCroix toilet water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. LaCroix to oh, so the basically toilet. the flavor of toilet water, but from the other room. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like it's LaCroix. Like yeah, yeah, it's like toilet water times two, which I love the flavor of toilet water. So Glorf mm -hmm. just granted me extra toilet water, which is my favorite. You are an absolute gift. Did they leave anything for you, like any other gifts or like, or did they tell you what planet they're from? No, he just said, here's LaCroix toilet water and then left. My encounters with the supernatural uh, is not, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But to be fair, not a lot of things make sense to me. So um, I think they like to be cryptic. I, th I think they want to keep me on my toes. Mm. That's fair. That's fair. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that information with us, and uh, and good luck on the show today. Thank you. Yeah. So right below, honey, we have the wonderfully uh, fellow spooky dame, Grammy. I have a uh, I have a special appreciation for you, first of all, since you know we're both from the earlier times, you know, and uh, I feel like not everyone is as lucky uh, and gets to stay around as long as we have, you know. Uh, so, I honestly think that, uh, that you doing haunted yoga classes is such a bold career move. So, what inspired you to pursue this field of physical wellness for the undead? I believe Richard Simmons, the man that, uh, just kinda, unironically, I've thought a lot about this. I'd really like to get my own show going where I'm just like, all right, ladies, let's get up and out of those chairs. God is chasing you, and you will pay for your crimes. Now let's just get out of your chairs. Your sins are heavy, and you're going to have to move to get your back a little bit less like a giant brick that hurts you every single second. All right, come on. Every moment of your life has been suffering, hasn't it? Yes, let's get up, ladies. I I'm excited for the new program. <laughs> so let's go. So, uh, so what type of exercises specifically are you are you offering in those classes? Are do you do you have any particular stretches that you like that you feel are, are more beneficial for for spiritual <laughs> beings versus undead beings, or or are you just kind of like a, a general yoga, general stretching for everybody across the board? Um, I don't know much about yoga or exercise, so I just do what the guys from that one comic book, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, do. Like it. <laughs> Beyond the ones that where you hurt yourself or dislocate your ribs. Fair. And fair. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks very like cool and Taoist, so people believe it's very spiritual. It's it's been going well. Well, if I uh, if I ever get the opportunity, I would love to sit in some of those classes. I, I'm I'm very old and would love to the opportunity to you know kind of get the joints moving again. I've got some ink that hasn't moved in a long time, you know. 
oh, please, please, by all means, come on by, start stretching your spine, start you. dislocating arms. Have a great time. It'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> I appreciate you, Grimmy. Good, good luck on that uh, on that yoga move, and uh, and thank you for joining us on the show today. Next up, some of you may recognize the absolutely lovely and alluring Cottontail. Welcome to the show. Oh my god! Hi, thank you. I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. So, uh, so Cotton, we know at least most of us. You know, we know what you're most famous for. I mean, Miss Cotton up here is is a real legend, fellas. Real legend. And uh, you got to have a real passion, a real passion for the industry that you work in. I mean, mm. especially saving an entire country from Argentina, or excuse me, saving <laughs> saving an entire uh, country of Argentina from the Crab Rebellion at Red Lobster. I mean, that's a that that's a true hero act. Okay, so how how did you convince mm. the entire Crab Army to not go to war with Argentina? How did that work? Oh, so what happened was, you know, when you go to Red Lobster and you have those cheddar biscuits, that's all I can eat. At Red Lobster because I don't eat seafood. And so I just decided to negotiate with these crabs. I said, you know what? Argentinians, they're beautiful. Um, I don't think you need to eat them. However, try these cheddar biscuits. What do you feel? What do you feel? And they instantly decided to stop their, their little tirade, their little, I guess they're overcoming. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm sad Heavenly Father couldn't be here. He probably could have touched on this as well as he is also a crab. Um, but that's okay. You know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, he was, was he technically time. wasn't part of the rebellion, right? I mean, like it wasn't, it wasn't. He was he, their leader. He led the rebellion. <laughs> That's why he can't be here. He's too busy shoving his face with cheddar biscuits. Yeah, that was because of you. Uh, yeah, yeah that was. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh my God, you were a greater hero than even I could fathom. Cotton, thank you oh, for your thank service. You. For uh, saving all of us against the crab army, especially <laughs> Argentina, when I didn't get the line right. I super appreciate yeah, okay. it. <laughs> Love Argentina. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> thank you. Hands up for Argentina. But yes, thank you for being on the show and uh, and good luck with the improv today. Thank you. Happy to be here. And last but not least, the wonderful Pasta is joining us today. I'm I'm going to be real with you. I'm I'm not one for rumor mongering. And I know that Twitter means nothing without the real truth, Pasta. And we here at Tuned In and Haunted Harmonies, we don't want to spend a lot of time doing misinformation about our guests. It doesn't look good. So yeah. I have to ask, and especially for the live viewers right now at home, are you the Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> and, uh, and, and would you be willing to tell us where you hid all of those airplanes? Honey, I'm not the whole Bermuda Triangle. I'm the whole Bermuda Square. I'm everywhere, baby. I am one <laughs> idiot. I'm everywhere. And those planes had it coming to them. I told them I was going to be first class only. I said, I'm the hog cranker extraordinaire. The and hogs. they said, please, ma'am, please, not again. Please, we go through this every Friday. Every Friday. And you know what? I'm, I've just had enough. I just had enough. Uh, no planes. So anyway, I'm limited to boats now. Limited boats now. So, so does that mean that uh, we're gonna end up seeing more ships disappearing rather than planes? <laughs> I mean, is that is that really what this means, or is it because if you are, you know, in fact, the real Bermuda Square, and we've just been misnaming you all these years, and I'm very sorry yeah. if we have. Our our, yeah, our historians don't really do a very good job on your culture, and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I mean, I do have a catfish laugh, so you know, more ships in the sea, more friends to party with i'm ready to sink them all baby nice nice <laughs> we we look forward to finding the next titanic somewhere in your uh bowels i appreciate that thank you very much <laughs> so, <laughs> but thank you thank all of you very much for coming on the show this week i am very looking forward to it so uh let's say we get this bad boy in the road and uh, we get some comedy started yeah, let's do it <laughs> all right no. let's do it let's go Okay, so for those of you that are unfamiliar with how Tuned In works every week, uh, we take the four lovely guests that you see below, and I'm going to show them a series of animated cartoon clips from the era of 1940s all the way up to the very early 2000s. I give them minimal context, and they have to fill in the dialogue. After they get done, I will play the real version with the editing uh, intact, and show you guys exactly how close that they came to the real conversation. So, 
let's get this started. <laughs> I'm excited, sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. I want you guys to be excited. So uh, we're going to do this first clip. Uh, and the very first clip is going to feature Honey and Grimmy together. Whoa. Let's do this, honey. We, don't, we got this. You got, we got this. this, dude. We got this. So how this is going to work is I will give you guys the prompt. I will show you the clip with edited audio. It does not have any of the original dialogue in it. You guys can just see your characters, uh, see what you're going to be improving. Then I will replay it for you to play with. So get ready to hit the skies in Mushroom Land of the Super Mario Brothers, oh, where boy. loving mother Birdo takes a very devoted role towards Toad when her baby goes missing. So, honey, you will be playing the role of Toad. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And Birdo is going to be played by Grimmy. Yo! <laughs> so, so let's take a look at the clip with the audio edited. Oh. There's Birdo, of course, and Toad being in the uh, in the crib. Nightmare. <laughs> Why is it white? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 god. Oh, god. oh, god. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> um Okay. <laughs> they look the same, why not? So there's the clip. All right. So once again, uh, Honey will what? be playing the role of Toad, and uh, and Grimmy will be playing the <laughs> the role oh, of boy. the very spitty uh, Birdo. What? What? <laughs> did, did I kidnap you? Did are we? Are that's you right, my that's, child? That's for uh -oh. you to figure out. You're not gonna know that until I play the clip afterwards. Oh God. <laughs> All right, oh, no. get ready to All give right. it your best shot. Take a breath. We're ready to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> oh my, oh goodness. It's my little guy here. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to feed you a little bit of a bird-like substances oh! from my mouth. We're doing the bird thing where I feed you after chewing up. Yeah. What, what are you kissing me with? No, no, no. Just drink your nutrients, sweetie. You'll feel so much better. Go ahead. Is this, is this, is this cop? What the fuck is no, this? No, no, no. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. No, of course not. Oh, could I wouldn't try that again. I know how much you dislike that. Okay, let me see here. Can I please get out? Oh, no, 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 sweetie. Okay, here's the phone. See no evil, speak no evil, uh, hear no evil. We're going to ignore them, honey. Don't worry. Your parents are calling. They don't... You don't need them. I'm going to... Do you want some milk? Oh, no, this was the... You know what? I've here. been in here for six weeks, please! Please, you this... can see my face on there! Quite a bit of protein, sweetie. Oh! That's my face! I'm missing! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I didn't know where you were gonna go with that, but as soon as you were like, "Is that calm?" I'm like, <laughs> I'm so glad you went exactly in that direction. I'm so proud. Thank you. <laughs> There's no other way to interpret that. Why is her mouth white? Why is it white? When Daddy Paper and Mommy Ink love one another, <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, they create that. <laughs> oh, okay, that's all that's I got fair. for you. They create that. <laughs> no, okay, that's We're very different. You can hide a lot of, uh... Yep. Well, how about we take a look at, uh, at how close you guys came to the original version. Mommy, <laughs> her little 
perfect. So much! Mommy! You're not my mommy! You're such a joke! I love the little Mario sound effect. Where did I put my telephone? Aha! Hello? Oh, it's the missing bird bureau! You can call off the search for my missing baby. I found my little sweetums. <laughs> oh, it was a terrible picture of you anyway, little cheapy. <laughs> little cheapy. <laughs> so your your tone voice was pretty good. Your tone voice was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I as the video was playing, I looked up Toad voice and I listened to one line. And I was like, okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, Toad's got this kind of ah thing going on. He sounds like yeah, that's from the gravel. old Super Mario Brothers Super Show that was that was uh was it 1989? I'm sure Peak some animation. of you probably weren't even alive at that time, and that's okay. I understand how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and that means that since we had uh, Honey and Grimmy starring in the first clip, that means we have Cotton and Pasta starring in the very next one. You know that this week, we make our return to the dark and gritty underbelly of Gotham City. In this crime-fighting clip, the two underrated heroes, Plastic Man and Elongated Man, have a jealous tiff over their bestie, Batman and who he likes better. So, Cotton is gonna be playing the role of Plastic Man in red, and Elongated Man will be played by Pasta in blue. So let's take a look at the edited version of the clip first. Here we go. Once again, plastic is in red, right here. And there's elongated man. Once again, Cotton will be playing the part of Plastic Man in red, and Pasta will be playing the part of Elongated Man. I was muted in blue. the whole time. You were oh. muted. Oh I was God. mute. I was I asking a question. <laughs> what was your question? Hey, is there any chance we could change characters, Pasta? Would you like to change characters? Yeah, sure. That's <laughs> Let's go. All right, switching it up. Let's switch it up. Let's go. Let's go. There's no so rule against it. I'm Why red. not do it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I get so we're we're gonna change it. We're gonna change it up. Yeah, fuck we'll have it. Cotton let's go. be elongated man no. and no. pasta will now be playing plastic man. We will we will switch that bad boy around. Sure, fuck it. Yeah, what wild card. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, take a breath. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's crime fight. Are we running? <laughs> I can't tell whose mouth is moving. Is your mouth moving, sweetheart? <laughs> Bro, what that neck do? Hey, do you want to see? <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Suckers, uh, they don't know how to walk. <laughs> yeah, you think that was something good? Watch, watch, watch. Look how good I can give head to this next guy. Watch it. <laughs> and even though I hit him, you see that? Uh, yeah, that was pretty sick. That is not a tumor. This is not a tumor. Watch this. It's freaking jello, bud. <laughs> Google Gaga. <laughs> uh, give me that. <laughs> uh, actually, no, that's fine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Look at these big sacks. You want my big sack? No. I would love your big sack, but it's my turn to hold the sack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Pasta laugh. 
lips and there's that choking oh, wheeze. I lose fuck. it a little bit more. It's so funny. God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a catfish. No, it's so funny. Is, do catfishes sound like that? Is that a catfish noise? Yes, what is they that? they do. You need to look real? it up. You okay, need well, to look up what sound a catfish up. makes. It sounds just catfish. like me. <laughs> Laugh. Oh, no. Catfish sound. Yeah. Is that no way catfish actually make that sound? That's a they lie. Do. No, no they way. Do. They, they really do. do. Really? Yeah. Catfish making noise. I'm a New Englander. I don't know this. <laughs> it sounds like it's snorting. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. I ask the ocean this all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> I just go out to the beach. I'm like, why? <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate your laugh. <laughs> Thank you oh, so God. much. You guys are too much. I love all of you. Hey, Pumpkin. I think mm -hmm. what we should do now is play the original clip of the Batman. I think we should too. Let's go back. Yeah. And do Let's do it. I just don't get it. I'm more professional, the better <laughs> detective, and yet the public <laughs> prefers you. Ooh, not just the public, my D-list doppelganger. Batman too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The Cape Crusader prefers to work with moi. Please. With moi. The Dark Knight only turns to you when I'm on another case. And then only as a last resort. Dude, you're delusional. Bats and I are best buds. We hang out even when there's no evil doing to be undone. <laughs> It looks like a goo gaga that Batman you did, Cotton. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> the baby. Goo goo gaga. Ah. Goo goo gaga. Goo goo gaga. Goo goo gaga. All right. Indeed. So uh, the Transformers are back, but looking more bestial this time after a deadly fight with Tarantulas, leaving Optimus Primal out of commission. It's up to the bickering primals to decide what to do next. What do we do now? So Dinobot will be played by Grimmy. Cheetor will be played by Pasta. Rat Trap will be played by Cotton. Yes! And R <laughs> Rhinox will be played by Honey. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's take a little peek -see at the edited version. And I'll introduce the characters. Oh, it's 3D too, wow. It is. That's cool. uh, that there is Dinobot, the one with the blue face. That's gonna be Grimmy. Che Damn, Cheetah, I would. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I would too, I'm All not right. gonna lie. Smash. And that one's you, Cotton, right there. I like it, yeah, Ratman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rats, rats, yeah, rats. I have a monologue rats, apparently. Rats. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> His lips. Whew. Look at I him know, go, right? Look at him go. <laughs> Wait, that's a guy? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Chi Cheetor, technically. Sorta, I guess if you wanna if you wanna say that Transformers have genders, I guess. <laughs> they can be anything you want them to be, baby. They're robots. Yeah, they can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they well, can. We can make this about anything we want. Like we can have anything. However what is my arm doing? <laughs> however you wanna however you wanna play it out is however you wanna play it out. I'm All right, just here I'm gonna hosting. say some curse you words. Do you. You All do right. you. Curse right. words time, let's go. Everybody ready? Everybody yeah, ready to become yeah. a Transformer? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. So once again, Dinobot is going to be played by Grimmy. Cheetor mm -hmm. will be played by Pasta. Rat Trap will be played by Cotton. And Rhinox, of course, will be played by Honey. Get ready to transform in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> okay, I just need to know one thing. None of us shit. Who's not flushing? It's important we figure this out right this second. We're not going forward until we do. It's unnerving. I, 
I, you know I drink the toilet water. You know it ain't me. Hey, you know what? As the, the, the plumber here in the Transformers realm, I just like to tell y'all that you do not need to be shooting your goo down the sink, okay? It does not go down, and that's why we keep having these problems, right? Uh, Rexor, what's your name? I I didn't know that you should use the sink. I'm gonna be honest. I saw pasta drinking out of the toilet water. Hey! 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 Listen here, little kid. <laughs> I love the way you wear that Chanel number five. <laughs> it's for you. It's all for you. That's why I shit in the sink. It's for you. I just want to impress you. I don't want to shit in the water. How the fuck are you even shitting? <laughs> I don't get it. God damn it. Just... Oh, the sink. <laughs> oh, MC. <laughs> you fucking love. You fucking love. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, I don't even think we need to show the real one. I think that's just a cut and print. I don't. I don't think the dialogue could be it, could be done better. Oh that, my God. that was so good. <laughs> oh, okay, because we're never ever gonna be able to top that. I, I don't think ever. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the clip anyway. <laughs> Let's go. I'm pretty sure it wasn't about shitting in the sink, but here we go. <laughs> It is in my mind. You wearing that Chanel number five? <laughs> that was that was really funny. I shit in the sink for you. Well, I did it for you. I did it for I'll you. Do it for you. <laughs> I shit in the sink for you. <laughs> well, that was really good. Who said that? You fucking love. It sounds like when you're trying to pop popcorn in the microwave, you know. Like... <laughs> I can't. You're laughing. I can't. <laughs> Sometimes it just really sends me, bud. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, I'm never recovering from this, and we still don't have a show left. God damn. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. That was really good. <sighs> all right, so let's, let's take a look at the original clip. You were supposed to be his backup. We were ambushed. And don't tell me my duty furball. Duty! duty. <laughs> <laughs> Yourselves, and uh, save it for my birthday. But right now, we got bigger concerns. Rhinox, what's the sitch? Looks like a viral mind. It's fused with his net core. He can't transform while the thing's attached. Well, then let's get it off. He took enough energy on damage just getting back here. Can't be done. The mind's rerouted all his life support <laughs> functions to itself. We yank it. He lives for less than a minute. I know Scorpinox creations. This one is intended to turn our leader into a coward. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Duty. Not as good as ours, though. No, no. no. true. true. Ours no, is the original better. version is nowhere near as good as the one that you guys pulled off. Oh my god, Our I need a drink. Real we said like the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same yeah. <laughs> message, yeah. you know? Duty. Hi. Duty. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, oh. your version is like the real canon version of Beast Wars, and they just need to go back in time and fix it. Uh, <laughs> Everything okay. written on the wiki is factually wrong, and this is the only version yeah. that actual fans relate to. This is canon. <laughs> if you're, if you're a real, real Beast War Wars fan, you would obviously know that Cheetor wears Chanel number no. five for Rhinox, okay? 100%. God. Obviously. Obviously. God. God. Yeah. Read the comics, you nerd. But you only watch the show. The next one is once again for all four of you. Let's go. All four of you together. Who says money can't buy happiness if you can use that money to become a Powerpuff girl? Yeah, let's go! Yeah! <laughs> when their heroism impresses the new snotty girl at school, Princess, 
She demands to be the newest member of the Powerpuff team. Princess will be played by Grimmy. Blossom will be played by Honey. Buttercup will be played by Pasta, which means Bubbles gets to be played oh. by Cotton. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's take uh, a look at the edited version. Cotton, it's blue. Thank you. Okay. Buttercup is in green and Blossom is in blue. Once again, uh, Princess will be played by Grimmy. Buttercup, the green one, will be played by Pasta. Blossom, the pink one, will be played by Honey. And Bubbles, the blue one, will be played by Cotton. All right. How do you know that one? Huh? Thanks, Siri. No one asked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who was that? Mind your own business. <laughs> oh, my God. Who am I? Which one am I? <laughs> you have a role. She wants to play, too, and she was not invited. So feeling so attacked right now. <laughs> God, technology. All right, get ready to get your superpowers on. In three, two, one. Oh. Hey, what's up? I like your little sausage arms. What's wrong with you? That's so oh. cool. Um, um, uh, Listen uh, to it. You. <laughs> wow, I have no. Okay, gibberish school. <laughs> Did you know that we're top of our class for being able to speak? We speak the best of, of, of the, yeah, Powerpuff Girls. We love being- I, I can speak even louder then. I, I can speak really well. Look at this diction. Look, you can hear me. Diction. This is where all my words sound vaguely different than each other and they're not muttering or mumbling. You can't do this, I bet. Hey, hey, wait. We're the Powerpuff Girls. We're the You're best. You're kind of mean, man. I don't like you. Diction, you don't even know how to read. <laughs> what? I know how to read? You don't know how to read. Fuck school, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta write. Fuck, fuck this place. I hate it. Fuck this. I don't even know how to fucking read, dude. I don't even know what I'm. Doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't even know how to read. I love them. They're my favorite. They're so cute. Play. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> 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 my ink is oh running, my, my skin is clear. God damn, I love all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's a whole mood. <laughs> that was really good. I quite enjoyed that one. Get my diction! That was really good. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh. The biggest diction of them and all. And the day is the saved by not going to school and being illiterate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the next episode of Powerpuff Girls. Why well, oh. be sad when you can be illiterate? <laughs> <laughs> Dogs don't read and they're so happy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Let's go back and, uh, and take a look at what they actually, actually said. <laughs> See how close she got. <laughs> We're superheroes! Yeah, we're the Powerpuff Girls! Oh, well then oh. I'm gonna be a Powerpuff Girl too! <laughs> they didn't say fuck you. <laughs> no, uh, they did not. <laughs> we're not really accepting new members at this time, but thank you for your interest in our group. What? You can't just blow me off like some common peon! I'm Princess, and my dad 
Daddy buys me anything I want! I want to be a Powerpuff Girl! Well, I'm oh sorry, but you can't. We're superheroes. We were born with superpowers. You can't just buy superpowers. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Batman. <laughs> I don't think I like that princess at all. Yeah, why was she so rotten to everyone? <laughs> well, she's new here and probably doesn't know how to make friends. We should give her a chance. <laughs> I can't read. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Basically the same. <laughs> the ending was same perfect. Thing. It doesn't need to get changed at all. It's fine. Yeah. But exactly as intended. <laughs> oh, I love that. Not the difference. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that we've had a couple of group ones, uh, let's say we, we do some new pair-ups here. <gasps> so I'm just going to go ahead and give you the prompt, and I'll let you know. This one's going to star Cotton and Grimmy together. Yo, let's do it. Let's do let's it. Go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> In this next classic clip, we encounter love at first sight on the racetrack as the handsomely suave speed buggy falls hard and fast for the new car in town, Matakari. <laughs> okay. Buggy, you get to play, or excuse me, Grimmy, you get to play the part of Buggy. <laughs> Buggy, I'm changing Buggy, my you're name. you're playing Grimmy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, and Cotton, you'll be playing the luscious and fabulous Miss Matakari. Oh. All right, so let's take a look at the edited clip together. <laughs> Wait, someone's riding you? Oh, that's a little awkward. <laughs> she looks like an animal, but I can't tell yeah, which one. I don't like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a oh, monkey. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What is he doing? Bro. <laughs> Why are there more people watching these cars about to fornicate? This <laughs> this is you remember that uh, TLC show where there my strange addiction where that guy was in love with that car? I think he'd really oh, enjoy yeah. this. He loved this episode. <laughs> what <laughs> is that? Do you think I will? <laughs> Brother. You guys act like you've never seen oh, Speed Buggy before. I have never seen Speed Buggy before. <laughs> I, I, it's, I, it's hot car on car, oil drinking, twerking action. That's what that is. Apparently. Once more, mm -hmm. the uh, the pink car, Matakari, will be played by Cotton. Oh boy. Okay, and let's do it. Speed Buggy will be played by Grimmy. <laughs> <laughs> this one ought to be real good. All right. And uh, get ready to get speedy in three, two, one. Oh, oh, there, Abba, big boy. oh man, that's a, that's one hell of a car. Wait, we gotta get over there. Don't leave. I can't waste time. <laughs> how how you doing, uh, sweet? Uh, the the, the, the wheel. The... Wow, this is kind of interesting having a conversation when someone's riding you at the same time. Oh, just ignore him. Just ignore him. He uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's. Does he like watching? Is he like the cuck? Does he like me twerking my little back trunk? You like that, sweetheart? Oh God, you, you know what? I, I've never seen a, a woman kind do that before, but I love it. Oh, I'll show you lots. Oh, you'll be tired after I'm done with you. I've never. Uh, you, your wheels are incredible. I assume you murder the people that are inside of you. I don't worry about it. I kind of like how we have spectators. Oh, 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 she's walking away. But you know what? You know what? I'd love to see her go. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get some oil pumped in me. Bye. Oh, okay, I mean, I could come with you. Okay, that, that's fine if you just... Would. Yeah? You want to get some oil with me? Fuck. <laughs> that was really good. Oh. That was fantastic. <laughs> I was about to make a joke about a rim job, and I was like, maybe not today. Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Today's not the day for a rim job. Uh, no, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. You know. I need Quite to ask a that. question. Of course. What's your question? Were animators all that horny back then? Like, what like, was what? that? Like, what happened to the point where they see a car and they go, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> they made the cards work. Like what? <laughs> they they absolutely were. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! Do you guys see the original clip? Um, it's oh it's boy. certainly something. And uh, Cotton really wasn't that far off. That's that's the interesting really? part. Oh yeah, Whoa. oh yeah. Let's uh, let's take a look at the original version here. The voices are very interesting. Be still, be still, my beating heart. Be still. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sleep fast and hunt. I'm Speed Buggy. And I'm... <laughs> Matakari. Rev it, girly. You're, you're beautiful. Oh, oh my best God, to say that down to bad. all the cars, darling. Would you Is like to French? go out for a, for a can of oil? My treat. Maybe later then, darling. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is like the same. Y'all did the same. It's a reenactment. Oh my god, they were horny. <laughs> Talk back then. People wanted to F cars back then, I guess. They, they still do. Never mind. It got worse. Yeah. Never mind. No, it got, it got way worse. Scrooby's right. It got worse. It got yeah. way worse. But I love the fact that you asked about the oil and that's actually what Buggy asked her. <laughs> oh like, god. it was the same line. We knew, we knew. Wow. I, I, I knew I assigned that right. I, I knew yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. There was yeah, a hot did. moment like before we were getting everything for the show together today, and I was like, mm. do I want to switch those roles? Do I want to? Do I do I want to make Cotton do the buggy voice? That would have been so good. All of his lines were literally just queefing. He was like, <laughs> 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 like what? that's all his lines were, dude. <laughs> Zero oh dialogue. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it's time for a tropical jungle getaway, pals. In this <gasps> next one, Pete and Peg's anniversary vacation gets interrupted as Peg finds herself worshipped by the local island natives, and poor old Pete must find a way to win back his beautiful wife. What's it, what's her name? Peg. <laughs> okay. Yep. You, 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 want, you want to hear it one time? Are you sure? Are you sure? You yeah. Hear uh, it one more time? No, no. Okay. Do you, do you want the fucking sink to be clogged? Don't do it. <laughs> uh, Peg will be played by Honey. Her husband, Pete, will be played by Pasta. So let's take a look at the Goof Troop clip. Oh, she's fine. Yeah, and she cute. Fresh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love Peg. Is that Pete? I imagine that's, that's Pete. Pete. All right. His teeth bug me. <laughs> 90s Disney. Dang, she's strong too. Yeah, what the heck? Right. Well, I had to win her back somehow. <laughs> so once again, Peg will be played by Honey, and Pete is going to be played by Pasta. Take a deep breath. We're gonna get our Goofy on in three, two, one. Petey, Petey, are you okay now? <laughs> Come here, I got you, Petey. It's okay. I know I know you're useless. It's okay. I got you, baby. Come on up here. I got you, sweetums. Snookums. It's okay. You don't have to walk. I got you. I'll take care of you forever. 
You don't know how to do anything. I love you. Yeah, Peg, you, you're looking fine as hell. You're strong as fuck. Oh my god, let me smash. Yeah. I want to... I want to smash my husband. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, guys, guys, listen, listen. I, 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 I'm only here on vacation. I've only got about four hours left to smash her before I go into regret. Uh, yeah, and I honestly, I, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Uh, listen, condoms on me, boys. Well, I'll take a turn. <laughs> <laughs> wait, uh, wait. You just pulled the hole. What was that? Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Places unexpectedly very quickly. <laughs> I, th I thought it was just me and my husband. Uh, it was everyone. <laughs> the locals are eating good tonight. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so are we. Yeah, Peg's hot stuff. Peg's she hot stuff. Hot. You see when she batted those eyelashes? Like, mm. God. <laughs> So let's go back and uh, and take a little peek see at uh, at the original version. See how Pete actually gets out of this mess in real deal. <gasps> it's his fear of heights. He can't climb out. Hang on, pickle juice, I'm coming. Pickle juice. Pickle juice. Pickle <laughs> juice. <laughs> oh, that's cute. To think you've hung on to that picture all these years. You are my real hubby, all right. <sighs> oh, Peg. My heart's on the Twitter. Just like the old days. Huh? <gasps> Uh-oh. It looks like these guys won't give me up without a fight. What do I do? Well, you could try to buy my freedom. Yeah, but what have I got that they take? Mm, how about your credit card? Oh, that's uh, what that is. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. What is that it's machine? An old school, it's an old school reader. Back in yon olden days, when they like didn't have a digital copies. reader, they would have this ugly little machine, and you would put your card into it, and then it, like, they would have to it? like shh, shh, shh. they would put like a piece of paper on top of it. You know, like uh, mm. like leaf pressing when you're a kid. Oh, it's a stencil kind of thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. a stencil yeah. thing, and nice. they would like. Shh, I've shh. never seen that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. It's like archaic. They used it in, you know, 30 years ago. They definitely don't use that kind of thing now. What was the credit card thing? <laughs> it's like from the 80s. Yeah, it's, really? it's old. Really? It's, it's old. Yeah. Holy! Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So you came on here to do some comedy, and you ended up leaving with an extra brain cell. You can keep it. No, no, no. You take it back. Take it back. I don't want it. I don't need it. <laughs> you don't want the responsibility? <laughs> I yeah, don't no, want the this is too much. of the extra brain cell I earned oh, today. Oh, my head hurts. My head hurts. <laughs> get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> Fuck. We have two more clips to go, okay. uh, my wonderful friends. Yes, they do, in fact, star all four of you. Both of them. Let's go. Let's take a look at the next one, because what better time to do crime than the year 1965, when a fearsome bank robber has a bout of trouble with his getaway car, the Three Stooges put their auto service to the test. In this clip, oh the bank robber will be played by Pasta, Larry will be played by Grimmy, Mo will be played by Cotton, and Curly will be played by Honey. And if you're unfamiliar with the Three Stooges, yeah, I, I will know. point them out. Yep, we will point Thank them you. out. So let's take a look at the edited version. There's the robber, of course. Is that his dumpy? Oh my god. There are the three stooges. So, are those Mo stooges? has black hair. Yep. Mo is cotton with the black hair. The one with the black okay. hair? Yep. Thank you. Uh Larry has brown hair. That's Grimmy. And Curly is the bald one. Oh. Okay. He's played by oh. Honey. So there's Mo and uh and Larry right there. There's Curly. Dude. Ooh. <laughs> I like how all of our minds went to his dumpy right there. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! There's plenty of opportunity for uh for dumpy improv, and I'm here for it. I'm driving. I'm quenched. I'm so blessed to be the thickest stooge. <laughs> 
once, <laughs> once again, the robber will be played by Pasta. Larry, the one with the brown curly hair, will be played by Grimmy. Mo, the one with the black hair, will be played by Cotton. And Curly, the bald stooge, will be played by Honey. Get ready to do some crime in three, two, one. Hey, you boss babes, have you ever made you want to make a quick buck, huh? You want to stay at home and make a good scheme, make some money real fast? Oh, wait. Hey, hey. I'm uh, sure, uh, yeah. there's liquid. Oh, okay. you're tired oh, okay. of the word. Hi, uh, sir. What a large yeah, no, sack you have. Guess. I can fix the tire. <laughs> I love tires. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> the dialogues are so fast. Uh, yes, sir. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. God, I fucking love tires. God, they're the sexiest You can't thing. be tempting me like this on the job, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> now I can do this myself. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just get right in here. I'll just, okay, I'll yeah, stick... Yeah, yeah. Now you take your... Okay. Oh, you're trying to fix a flat ass, not a flat tire. All right, Bulgarian squats. Okay, you're not doing it right. Uh, 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 let me just... Uh... You shouldn't be under the car by now. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just gonna put this... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Bulgarian squats? So fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bulgarian squats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever do those? They hurt like a motherfucker. No, They're what real? is a Bulgarian squat? There okay, I so you, I usually do Bulgarian split squats. You put one one leg in front as like a, you do it in a in a lunge, like 90 degrees. Oh, like, like, a, like a forward ankle. split. Yes, and then you put the other leg on top of like a maybe a bench you're laying on or something. You put the toe on, and so it's like the toe is on the thing, and then you do a, a split squat holding two weights in your hands, and you go down and up, and it works your, your glute maximus really well. That I don't sounds think my like body works agony. like that. <laughs> that sounds like literal agony. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Oh, no. That's bad. It hurts. That sounds like my own personal hell. Right? I love pain. Oh, I want to do that. That looks so much fun. It's hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see how fast that dialogue actually was. Let's take a look. Confounded, idiotic, wrinkled, snackled, ugly look. A customer, our first one. What luck. Yes, sir, at your service. Yes, oil, lube, we service anything your car needs. Then fix that flat. I'll be back in a minute. Yes, sir, <laughs> we'll get right on it. Thank you. We're lucky. Only the bottom is flat. <laughs> So's your head. Get going, flat top. Now let's see. Get tire jack inside turtle bag. Right. So Make big. sure you oh, know which that. tire to fix. <laughs> Make sure you know which tire to fix. Place jack under axle. Quick, quick, quick. Place jack under axle. Quick, quick, quick. Now jack, jack the jack. Now jack, jack the jack. <laughs> That noise was very accurate, actually. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. That was really funny. <laughs> I love that. And I guess that brings us to our final clip of the uh, afternoon, guys. It went so quick. I told yeah, that, you. Like it you're was. right. That was really fast. I told you. Yeah. It was. Every episode when I bring a guest, they get so nervous, and I'm like, it, it, it's over before you can even blink. You feel like you did two or three of them, and then it's over. So here's the final clip of the uh, of the afternoon. When a mystery needs solving, you don't need to call Scooby-Doo. You call Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries. This 90s museum adventure. Granny visits the curator, who informs her that the iconic Olympic torch has been stolen from the museum. And in this final clip, the curator of the museum will be played by Honey. Tweety is being played by Pasta. Sylvester is being played by Grimmy. And Granny will be played by Cotton. So let's take a look at the edited version of this clip. It's a damn door stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Flirty Birdie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so there is there's your final clip. Let's do it. So the, once again, the curator is played by Honey. Granny will be played um by cotton tweety will be played by pasta and sylvester will be played by grimmy all right let's get our mystery on in three two one so here's where we hold our monthly orgy sessions and <laughs> the last few months uh people haven't been coming as often and i don't really know what happened to everybody i mean they all kind of just disappeared well sweetheart i think i know why they're not coming look how disgusting this place is look mm, this this leftover cum is still here oh, you should be cleaning the place despicable it just adds flavor <laughs> I have erectile dysfunction. <laughs> oh man, that means I get to get in on this while they can. Let's uh, this I'm gonna pre cum myself. People will appreciate that. I hope. Oh gosh, maybe that. You know what? Just, just go with it. Don't even think it. Is this where the sex shop is? Oh, it's that guy with erectile dysfunction. We got. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't want to be around this guy. Nothing to see here. Sweetie, uh -oh. what are you doing? <gasps> Dysfunction. That was really good. <laughs> I was I was almost expecting that they were gonna go with the full Tweety Uwu. I have a wactile dysfunction. Huh. A wactile. <laughs> it's a serious matter. It's a serious condition. <laughs> You're, so right. You're so right. Over 50% of males experience erectile dysfunction. So you're so right. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back and take a little, uh, take a little listen to the original clip. You must help us, Granny. Without the torch, there will be no Olympic Games. And without the Olympics, what will we do with all those Olympic t-shirts and plush toy mascots, huh? I don't know where the torch is, but I can tell you, this place definitely needs a good dusting. Boy, they didn't have much wardrobe in those days, did they? This sure is educational. Can I read There's more than one way to skin a cat. What am I saying? Same thing. Same, Same thing. I love that. I hope that everybody watching also had a really great time. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can exclamation point Patreon and help support the people that are working on it and help support new guests in the future as well. Uh, on top of that, if you are interested in joining the Discord and the, and the social communities, you can exclamation Discord and join us there. If you're looking for this episode, this episode will be live on my YouTube channel next week. The episode today will be going on Patreon for the uh, patrons for the one week of early access before the public gets it. So if you want that and you want other goodies, including uh, the clips that we've used here and get your name on the Patreon list on the ending screen, then uh, that is the place to do it. And until next time, please give our guests a wonderful round of applause. Go check them out on their streams. They are incredibly talented, very cool people that I'm blessed to have with me on episode five. And we will see you guys on episode six next week on Saturdays. The show is every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern or Western Standard, Western Standard, Pacific Standard. You guys live on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And we yeah, will you. see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful Bye. rest of your weekend. Bye. And we'll Bye. see you on Heckin' Bye. Monday. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. Goodbye. Bye.